Alright, we are going to show you how you set up your Microsoft Connect. It will prompt you to update your device as soon as you plug in your Connect and turn on your Xbox, assuming that you're connected to the internet. So once it's done updating, you will see this screen. It says, ready to be the controller, let's set up. It will give, throw, we're going to walk you through your sensor placement, your speech recognition and chat, and your play space. So it's going to cover all the ground. Funnily, or funnily, that is not a word, but we're going to go with it because I can. You have to use the controller to do this, so let's get let's begin. All right, make sure your sensor is two to six feet from the floor. So you're going to have to allocate that amount of space for it. Centered above or below your TV, so you're going to want it in the center. Right now, uh, my Xbox is currently in the way, so it's not going to be perfectly centered, but we'll work around that later and placed on a stable surface. So if you have a Samsung like this and it's rounded at the top, you're probably not going to use that. You're going to want it on a table or somehow a shelf maybe, like I'm showing you in the picture there. Anything good like that. So the sensor is placed. We're good. This, okay, we're going to do a back background noise check. Says this process will help improve voice commands and chat. Start by checking the background noise in your room where available. Testing the background noise right now. Alright, so I was saying our background noise is alright, as you know, it was asking me to be quiet so that I could get just the random crap that you hear in your house when no one's talking. And we're going to go to the next thing, speaker volume. Make sure your speaker volume is at the level you use to play games, uh, then it's going to check your speaker volume by playing some sounds. So I'm just going to go up a little bit louder than what it's at now, if I don't mess up this TV. I'm going to go to 25 because I like numbers like that. So, we're going to press play. Speaker volume is good. Alright. A uh, little jingle there from the Xbox. Alright, then, then the microphone calibration test. This test will use sound to help orient Connect to your room. Your audio setup may affect Connect. So select more info for details. Uh, I'm assuming surround sound and whatnot. It asks you to keep your Xbox away from sources of noise, electronic equipment, appliances, fans, and try to keep it at least six inches away from your speakers. Uh, do not put the sensor in an enclosed space, so no cabinets, no drawers. Uh, if you have an entertainment stand, keep it out in an open area. Uh, turn off special receiver modes, so if you have surround sound, concert hall, theater, uh, you might have to uh, do a little fiddling around with that to make sure that's working. We don't have that set up at the moment. And then it's going to calibrate, and then once you've done all that, it's going to ask you to calibrate it again. So we're going to calibrate it right now. And it says it's going to take about a minute. You'll hear the calibration sounds twice. Please be as quiet as possible until you're notified it's complete. So I'm completely screwed it up. So I'm going to back out of that, calibrate it once more while I'm being quiet. Alright, so that took a little bit long, but, you know, uh, hopefully you have to do that again, unless you change your uh, sound setup, so, your calibration is complete, if you turn up your, if you turn up the volume, you can turn it back down, uh, we're not going to do that, so, Connect has a built-in microphone for chat parties, you can do it, you don't have to wear a headset anymore, so we're going to put on for chat, it also gives you the option to do it off, so, 
And your connect should be set up now. We're gonna see how this works. Let's see, setting up connect. Oh, we're not done yet, folks. <laughs> oh, so let's see what we got. First, stand up. Only one person, please. So, Zach, our cameraman, if you'd like to stand to the side, I'm gonna put down the controller like it's asking me to. Make sure that the area is clear. It is pretty clear, we're gonna say. Move in front of the center. I'm in front of it. I am, I'm in a good spot. All right, let's do this. Check me out. The wave, it's asking me to wave to the connect. I did that, it's good. I can select my option, I can go back. Uh, over here, apparently. Um, hmm. That feels a little off, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit to the... Hmm, I guess it's alright you get once you get used to it. So I can choose to go back. Or I can choose to continue. I'm gonna continue. Oh. There's my guy wearing our Super Meat Boy shirt because that game's awesome. So that's all it's asking for us to do is to continue and be done. And that is how you set up your Microsoft Connect. Alright, we have gone through the Connect calibration for speech recognition twice now. This is our second round. Uh, it's giving us an option to do that we didn't get last time, which is them, the Connect trying to hear me speak. So I did not do that last time. It's doing it this time. Don't know what happened there. Uh, I'm going to test it out. So, one, two, three, four, five. Connect can hear you. You sound great. I sound great. Isn't that wonderful to hear? You can now use Connect speech in games and experiences to support it. <coughs> that is wonderful. Your Connect Center has been successfully set up for chat, speech, recognition. If you have problems using Connect or for chat, remember you can run the Connect Tuner again, which is so much fun to do because it takes very quick to do, right? No, not at all. It's long and tedious. If voice commands still don't work, Connect may be having trouble understanding your speech. Microsoft is working on improving speech recognition for everyone. So they're saying that there is a slight problem with accents or different dialects, I'm sure. So, do you want to allow Microsoft to collect voice samples of spoken commands. Um, I'll do that for mine, it's no problem. I'll help them out to make their software correct. So, alright.